Get ready. Windsurf AI is absolutely changing the way beginners are building apps today. I stumbled upon it while looking for faster ways to create full-stack applications. And wow, it feels like having an expert developer right inside your code editor. If you've ever felt stuck staring at a blank file, wondering how to start coding, this tool will blow your mind. So in today's video, I'm giving you a full Windsurf AI tutorial for beginners, from installing it to building your first project with the help of AI. Stick around to the end because I'll also share some pro tips to level up your coding game faster than you thought possible. Windsurf AI is more than just another code editor. It combines advanced AI models from Google, OpenAI, and Anthropic to help you code smarter and faster. Imagine an intelligent assistant that understands your entire project, suggests improvements, troubleshoots errors, and can even generate entire applications based on just a simple prompt. That's Windsurf AI. It's especially useful for beginners because instead of spending hours learning boilerplate or complex syntax, you can learn by doing, with the AI guiding you every step of the way. First things first, getting Windsurf installed is easy. Just head over to the official Windsurf website, download the installer for your OS, whether that's Windows, Mac, or Linux, and run the setup. During installation, you'll be asked if you want to import your VS Code settings. I highly recommend doing this. It'll help you feel right at home from the start. Once you open Windsurf, you'll see a familiar editor layout, but with some powerful new tools, a file explorer, an AI chat panel called Cascade, and an integrated terminal. Windsurf runs natively on your machine, so performance is smooth, and you can even work offline, big plus compared to browser-based tools. Let's take a quick tour. On the left, you've got the File Explorer to manage your project files. The Cascade panel is where the real magic happens. This is your AI chat window connected directly to your code base. You'll also see the terminal at the bottom for running commands and installing packages. And here's something cool. You can select between different AI models for specific tasks. Gemini 2.5 Pro, Claude 3.5 Sonnet, and more. Each model has its strengths depending on the kind of coding you're doing. Now let's build a simple app so you can see Windsurf in action. I'll show you how to create a basic domain name checker. First, open a new project folder in Windsurf, switch to the Cascade panel, and choose your AI model. Then just type your idea in plain English. For example, I want to build an app that checks if domain names are available using the WHGOI's API. The AI will instantly suggest technologies to use, maybe React for the front end, ExpressJS for the back end, and start scaffolding your project structure. But Windsurf AI isn't just for generating code. It's like having a mentor right there with you. If you run into an error, just paste the error message into the Cascade chat. The AI will analyze it and suggest a fix, often step-by-step. -step. Want to add new features? Just describe what you want. You can even tag files or external resources to give the AI more context about your project, which makes its suggestions even smarter. Here's why I think Windsurf AI is an absolute game changer for beginners. It makes coding approachable and fun. You can build both front-end and back-end projects from one place. It boosts your productivity by taking care of the repetitive stuff, and you learn so much faster because you're building real things, not just following theoretical tutorials. And there you go. That's your beginner's guide to getting started with Windsurf AI. By now you've seen how easy it is to install, explore, and build your first app. The best part is that the more you use it, the more confident you'll become with coding itself. If this video helped you, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tutorials like this. And if you want to dive deeper, check out our other videos